before I start talking about what this video is about, there's like a few things I want to just like talk about for a second. Just like a weird issue that I'm having and then something I want to kind of take back. When playing Rebirth, I don't know if it's like all Warzone or I don't know if it's just me, but whenever I'm playing Warzone, whenever I go to like the loadout drop, every time I try to choose a class, it just keeps freezing. I don't know if it's like a, like a glitch for me because when I'm playing with friends, nobody else has this issue, but it's always me. So when the game freezes, I'm just standing there then I always get shot in my back and die, and it's kind of frustrating. I hope they fix that issue. I don't know if, like, anyone else is having this issue, but for me, it's it's kind of irritating. And there were a couple COD videos where I kind of complained about the whole main menu thing with the, the Warzone, the Modern Warfare, and Cold War, and, like, the same screen. I didn't know it was used to, like, transfer to, like, one game to another, because I thought it was just there to really just promote the next game, and it would be the same as, like, you know closing out the application and then switching games it really helps when you're in a party and then you just want to transfer from say warzone to cold war so i take back my complaints from back then because i didn't think the system was going to like be like this and i didn't think it was going to work well i mean it's still slow but it's at least like a minute or two faster than like you know closing the application trying to find a the game then you know trying to wait for it to start up so good job Okay, with the drop of Season 1, we got Prop Hunt as the new game mode for the time being. And Prop Hunt is fun and all, but I would have rather had Gun Game, One of the Chamber, you know those party game modes back in the Black Ops 1 multiplayer. Basically the um, the wager matches in Black Ops 1, and I think it was called it in Black Ops 2, most likely not, I think it was just Black Ops 1. Black Ops 3 and 4 might have had the game modes, but it's been a while since I last played it, so I really can't remember. For me, Black Ops 1 did it the best, even though Black Ops 2's party modes were great too, but the currency system in 1 made it better. You can ante up, lose a lot of points if you lose. They're called COD points, but it's not the same as what we have now with the, you know, the battle pass, the buying bundles, the microtransactions. These were free, and you gained them after ranking up. And they were used to buy attachments, perks, camos for your person, calling cards, pretty much anything you can customize. I loved it because it gave you a choice of what you wanted to unlock first, a pick and choose system. When playing wager matches back then, I was scared to ante up because I didn't want to lose any points. And when I did, I was playing like my life depended on it and you were rewarded when you placed. I don't know if the system could work in today's time. There will probably be so many exploits, cheap tactics that will probably tarnish the legacy of it. But it would be fun if they added the game modes, if anything. But it'll probably be a season thing, so we have to wait till like they announce like season two, three, four, whichever in the future. So hopefully it comes out soon. Are you sure? I got gas, gas. I'm flanking, I'm flanking, I'm flanking, I'm flanking, I'm flanking. I got, 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 I got